The relationships in the show, I think, down to a T. They're very passionate relationships. We have kind of a Romeo and Juliet situation going on. On a romance side of the spectrum, we'll be on our toes. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Go time. Just when we thought we couldn't get enough When Calls the Heart, the team at Hallmark is serving up more hearty storylines, giving us the gift of When Hope Calls. New series, new characters, same heart and soul. My sister and I run the orphanage. We have an orphanage? We have some catching up to do. E.T. was invited exclusively on set to give you the inside scoop on everything you need to know about this heartwarming new show. There may be challenges along the way, but we can face them together. My character is Grace, and she is sisters with uh, Lillian. I play Lillian Walsh. Grace is my sister. We were orphaned at a young age, and Lillian got adopted, and Grace didn't, which separated them. I was adopted by another family, and, and she was left at the orphanage growing up. So after years have gone by, I go on a hunt to find her, and we finally reconnect, which is when we then decide to start our own orphanage, kind of to right the wrongs that we felt happened when, when we were growing up. They're trying to make the kids live a life that Grace didn't get to live, so she has, she has some a, kind of a dark past, but is pretty happy and smiley about most things. There's no place I would rather be. <laughs> what are you channeling when you take off the Jocelyn hat and put on the Grace hat? Anne of Green Gables. I just love how full of life she is, and she's positive, and she's she's kind of crazy and funny and, and quirky. Lillian is definitely very pragmatic and responsible and organized, but she's also independent and like a little bit fierce. Okay, right now and again. Okay. yeah, that. Absolutely. absolutely. Like she has gone out of her way for a couple of years to like search down her sister and that is not easy. No. No cell phones, no Facebook, what do you do? Of course. Send oh out God. a dove, I don't know. <laughs> Carrier pigeon, That's Where right, are you? that's right. <laughs> Great. Right? <laughs> Constable Kinsler. Welcome back, Gabe. Good to be here. My character is Gabriel Kinslow, Constable Gabriel Kinslow, and uh, he's the Mountie of Brookfield. A few months before this season begins, my character was shot. Oh. And so there's some residual effects sure. of being shot that carry. So he's still dealing with that. For sure. It's Chuck, right? Most definitely is. Well, my character is Chuck Stewart, who is part of that traditional ranch life. So he, he's the town veterinarian, and he's also like a stocksman. There's this interesting, like, what is his calling? Where is he going to end up? Like, is he going to take the veterinarian route for his passion for animals, or is he going to go and stay with the tradition? Your character, Chuck, he's got an accent. Yeah. Can we hear a little? Can you say a little something? So, I got to put the hat on, because once yeah, the hat goes on... get into character. Get into character. Once the hat goes on, like, that's... <laughs> you know, my posture changes, and then, you know, the character kind of comes out. I slouch a little bit. Well, it's complicated. Yeah, it's almost like Bradley Cooper and when it started going. Jackson Maine vibes, yes! Can you tease what it is that your character is going to go through and why you're excited for fans to watch it all unfold? Gabriel Kinslow coming back to town in the first episode, that's, that's how we open. It's really interesting to watch how the different characters in the town react to it. Some are nervous about that, some are not too happy about it, and some are thrilled. It's nice to have those relationships and then also kind of people treat me a little weird and at a distance. So. It's, uh, Interesting. Yeah, it's the good. It's good. He kind of he kind of stirs the pot a little bit. Oh, he does. Yeah. Just in terms of, um, you know, putting his job and and uh, the pride of of wearing the uniform mm -hmm. first and foremost. Big deal. Yeah, and it complicates things too. It complicates relationships, and um, we'll see how that unfolds with Lillian as well. Thank you for feeding my horse. Should he be on the boardwalk? <laughs> love watching the romance. <laughs> we love watching relationships unfold. What kind of romance is in store for your character this season? <sighs> it's very passionate. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's the, the relationships in the show, I think, down to a T. They're very passionate relationships. I know that Greg and Jocelyn have a very interesting love story. And then, of course, uh, Lillian and myself are starting to kind of explore that as well. I don't think Lillian's love life is her first priority. It is definitely the children, family, all that first. But handsome man walks by and is interested she can't she's help not, but she's like well this is this might be interesting i don't know is constable a romantic guy i think he is yeah. yeah yeah so does he court lillian i think that he has a lot of respect for her that's the first scene uh where they meet is uh is one where he finds out about the orphanage and as soon as that information is dropped he kind of looks at her in a different way so are things heating up with the mountie there may be a little Mountie. They get on very well, smashingly, great friends, I think, and like, 
Yeah, I think that might happen down the road. Who oh. knows? I gotta ask if there's gonna be uh, any sort of a love triangle this season, because you mentioned complications. Yeah. There's a character named uh, Sam who comes in. We'll see. Okay. I mean, we'll see. How does Lillian react, and, and where's her mind at? I think Lillian isn't used to this kind of attention right off the bat, and then I think when she starts to realize that it might be heading down more of a romantic path, it's maybe a little jarring and sure. unexpected, but then can't help but also enjoy a little bit. I Girl, think the intro up, absolutely. <laughs> What's it been like working with RJ? RJ is a gem. He's so kind, he's so lovely, he gets on with everybody. He is just like the most wonderful person to work with. I couldn't have asked for a better student partner and potential partner in the oh, show. Potential. Because <laughs> she's been involved in the project for, for quite a long time. We got along really, really well. Yeah, she's just a funny person. So it just, it created a very comfortable kind of family-like environment right away. Being a farm boy makes you an expert? No. But being a veterinarian does. Her love arc is pretty epic. Her love interest is the son of someone who hates her, her new family. So Big she, conflict. she's, she wants, but can't. It's very exciting. <laughs> We're so drawn to each other. So there's electricity. There's sparks right, up, right, off the bat. right off the bat. It's two very, you know, opinionated people. Grace has got so much gumption, and and but she's also got, you know, big barriers up from her history and past. And Chuck's, Chuck's just, he's drawn to that right away. And throughout the series, you know, Chuck doesn't really take no for an answer. And she's got a lot of no's. She's, she makes him really work for it. And So he's pursuing her hard. Yeah, he's, he's persistent. <laughs> and, and, I, and eventually, like, that persistence is going to come to a, a, some sort of reward. I always think of her, like, kind of nervous and anxious and like, nah. Especially with Chuck. She's like, I like you. <laughs> What do I do? Would you say Chuck is a romantic guy? Chuck is definitely a romantic guy. He likes to be in control of, of doing good deeds, and but sometimes he crosses the line a little bit. And, and she puts him in his place? And she does. She <laughs> puts him in his place. She's teaching him a lot of just things about being a man and doing it gracefully. It's a cool journey between her and I, but the competition is still there because we're both a little stubborn and we're both like... You know, my way is right syndrome. Is there at all a love triangle? Or it, the st real struggle is going to be getting the family to agree that they should be together? It started with the family, but a love triangle was kind of introduced to my love interest situation. In Oofsville? Well, it's kind of a girl that arrives from Chuck's past. Poor Grace. <laughs> Through the series, it's like you never... We have all sorts of different interesting... Good-looking characters that come in, and even when we get the script, sometimes we're like, "Who's this guy?" Like, you know, you feel yeah, it as just not as Chuck with me. I was like, "Wait a minute, who's this guy?" You never oh. know who's a threat or who's, you know, who who they're really into. There's a lot of there's just a lot of uh, it's it's very ambiguous. I think that's going to be the greatest arc of Chuck's character is like, does he get the girl? It certainly brought some new life to this old town. Speaking of charming. So I assume most of your scenes are with Greg. Ye yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. What is it like working with him? How are you fostering that chemistry? Working with Greg is great. Um, we are pretty similar. I think out of the whole cast, Greg and I are the most similar. Um, we take the same supplements. <laughs> Down to the vitamins? <laughs> yeah, he came, in my, he came in the hotel room and was like, oh, my counter looks... The exact exactly same way. Like we have all like the vitamin A, vitamin E. The moment we got here, it was like there was just this bond. We just get each other. Rupert, her dog, we bonded great over him. Like we, you know, we take him out for walks sometimes. Like I, I like like to take him and give her a break. Why should fans tune in to When Hope Calls? What is it that you want people to feel when they're at home watching you on their screens? I would love for people to just be able to watch a beautiful relationships that are forming both in family and between friends and potential love partners as well, is it's gonna really give people a chance to appreciate their own family and the people that they have in their lives because you see other people from different views and different walks of life. We've lost that sense of community where we all got, we've all gotten individualized and it's like, that's what I'm excited for people to see just to get that reminder of like, community. I think it's a really wonderful world and a wonderful group of people and know that the actors are having fun with each other and really, you know, really doing our best to, to give it to the audience here because it's such an incredible fan base that they deserve it. I hope they can just connect with us and, and relate to the show. I think everyone 
loves the values, like the family values. I think that's needed um, right now. You know, just a nice show. You, could, you don't have nightmares <laughs> at night after watching it. A nice, warm, beautiful show that everyone's working really hard on. And there's lots of romance, right? And lots of romance. <laughs>